hello hello and welcome to my channel i'm kat the nurse flipper full-time nurse full-time mom and part-time reseller so i do videos on what's sold on ebay mercari poshmark also thrift hauls garage sales estate auctions all kinds of fun stuff so today is going to be a what sold on ebay posh and mercari so we have $468 going out on eBay, which is not bad. That is Monday sales. And then we have a viewer sale going out over on Mercari and we have one sale on Poshmark. So let me show you. All right, so I'll go ahead and tell you guys the first sale is to a viewer. It's going to Stone, which is Rip Jacks. I'll pop his channel up there. Um, I showed quite a few videos back, and I also put a video on Instagram. When I bought the new shelves for my shed, I got a bunch of plastic sign displays that I'm not going to use because I don't have a retail store. Stone has a retail store, so he made me an offer that he thought was fair and I did as well. So we did the sale over on Mercari because it's actually 22 pounds of stuff. There's some wire baskets and sign displays. So that's going to go over to Stone for his retail store. He does have a channel and he shows a store, which is pretty cool. So check that out if you haven't yet. And then on Poshmark, we just have one sale. It's a pretty small one. Um, it's just two bras. Someone sent me an offer of $9. I accepted. I've not hardly sold any of these. They're super comfortable. I actually wear them. Um, they're anybody and they're just like a microfiber bra. So if you guys need bras, these are cheap bras and I have a bunch of them. Um, so that is it for Poshmark. So over on eBay, we have this pair of Kimbell gravel jeans these are size 18 these are new from my qvc palette and these sold for 16 dollars and 19 cents plus shipping buyers 26 dollars and 31 cents all in i paid about five so about a ten dollar profit on those and then up next we have some cool stuff today guys um is this miami ink hat pretty cool um it's a snapback so i got this and it looks like it's in pretty good shape um i did get this over um at a garage sale i paid a dollar and it sold for twelve dollars and fourteen cents plus shipping buyer is seventeen dollars and seventy four cents all in and then up next i've had these a while and probably should have kept them for dalton but they were listed and they sold their little speedo water shoes um i actually got these at a kid's consignment sale i don't know if you guys have them it's like a like friends um sale they do it in spring and fall here and i paid two dollars for them they sold for 7.28 plus shipping buyers 12 dollars and 58 cents all in they are um new with tags i put them in the bag with my heat sealer. I do have a link for my heat sealer and some other shipping supplies down in the description if you guys are wondering what I use. They are affiliate links, so I do get a little commission and it doesn't cost you anything extra. So if you're looking for something on Amazon, you can click one of my links. Even if you don't buy mine, I would get a little bit if you get something else. So I'm gonna skip the next one and save it for last. Um, up next. I got these two boxes. They're Minwax Putty. Um, I did get these at an online auction. They were actually in all my ceramic stuff. I can't get that box open. This one's partial. So I will probably put these guys in a flat rate envelope. Um, so there's nine jars. This is what they look like. And instead of listing them individual for like $5 a piece, I listed the lot. They sold for $36.44 free shipping and I'll just ship them out in a padded flat rate envelope. So I only paid a couple bucks, probably about a 20 to $25 profit on those. And up next is 
And these are great, guys. Um, it's a uh, um, Martha Stewart paper punch. They look like this. Um, the Martha Stewart brand does great. Uh, the other brand's not as high. This is a lower one. I'm almost out of them. The more popular sold pretty fast and they sold for more. I have about a dollar in. This one sold for $10 plus shipping. Buyer is $16 and six cents all in. And then I have another one of my Alscara. And I left the tag so you guys could see. So I paid $5. It sold for $14.99 plus shipping. Buyers $19.99 all in and retail as you see is $18.97. So I bought six. This is the third one going out and we have three left. So always check the clearance section um, at Walmart and the Health and Beauty. Up next is a scrub top. This one I paid $2 for it um, on like the color of the week at Goodwill a few months ago. It is Vera Bradley brand, and it sold for $10.93 plus shipping. Buyer is $16.31 all in, so I'll make about $6 on that. And then we actually have another Vera Bradley item. This is a like iPad case. This one sold for $18.22 plus shipping. Buyer is $24.87 all in. This will just go in a simple regular poly because it can't get damaged. So that will be super easy to ship. I paid $2 for that in a box lot and we'll make about $14 to $15 profit. So these next three items, um, I love selling cool stuff like this and I got these at a thrift store that is actually the only one local to me and I can kind of bargain with them. So there was a whole stack of these and I'll show you them one at a time, but there's a whole stack and they had them priced at like $2.99, $3.99 and I got the whole stack. I think it was like 14 of them and I was like, well, how much for all of them? And she said $4.99 and I was like, okay, sold. So I have less than 50 cents into each and two of these sold for $21.59 plus shipping and the third one sold for $19.42. This buyer is almost $90 all in on these three prints. So let me show you guys these. That one's an orchid with a glass and you can see they are artist signed and they are in the plastic still. These are Susanna Span. Um, she is from here in Florida, a local artist. I don't know if like an art shop or something went out of business and donated these. There's also this one here and she signed that one as well. And they all have her name and stamp of, I'm assuming what her studio was. I think these are from, um, I want to say when I researched like the 1980s. So there is another one. They're really, really pretty prints um, and they are matted and there's that. So buyer is 90 in and that's all profit, which is nice. And I actually um, sold like three of them already. So great sale there. Up next is another one of these that are moving slow that I said I won't get again, the Danco um, water repair kits. So I didn't pay but pennies for these. This one sold for $4.85 plus shipping. Buyer is $9.53 all in. We also sold five CVS nasal mist for $20. So the CVS nasal mist now has kind of slowed down but we're still selling like one or two a day and I still have over half a pallet left and we've made tons of money off of that. So that pallet was a great purchase. and. All right, so I am gonna add this in. Today is Wednesday, and you will see this video today. So this is eBay roller coaster. We only have one package going out so far today. It is two plates. They are the same ones you saw in my last video. They are Ballerina Jade Green. And there's the stamp again for you guys. And they bought two of these and they paid a total of $39.86 for those two plates. So a lot of you wonder how I do everything, and I just wanted to say 
I try and take every opportunity at downtime to get a little bit something done, even downtime at work. So like today, and I'm happy I got these. Um, these are super cool. I'll show you a few. Um, I'm going to bring this envelope to work. So it is an envelope full of vintage stamps. So if you see here, they're all in these wax envelopes. And I am going to throw these in my purse. And then if I have slow time at work, I will list these. Um, and that will help my listing. So I think if you just do it when you can do it, even if it's only one listing that you're able to do, that helps. So hopefully, like, if I have some downtime at work today, some days are hectic and crazy and I don't have a minute of free spare time. I don't get lunch until 5 p.m., but a lot of days I do have downtime. So once I'm done with everything or if I don't have any patience, then I can list those stamps. So just wanted to put that little tip in there. So yeah, only one order going out today and also um, a bulk wholesale order going out to Nana Tink Treasures. She has a great channel, guys. I will pop her up here and try and put her in the description and maybe add a card up there. So if you guys haven't checked her out, definitely do that. Last, this was one of my buys from um, the Thrift 30 Challenge, Black & Decker Lids Off. This one is in great shape. And I paid $3 for this at a thrift store and it sold for $17.99 plus shipping. The buyer's actually $47.95 all in. They paid double for shipping. It is kind of heavy. So um, it's not big though. So maybe pirate ship might work well for that. I'm going to see what I can do with that. And then up last, which I saved, if you see... Winnie the Pooh and Rabbit are now up on the mantle, and that is a really big poo, by the way. Um, so close to almost four foot poo. And we sold Miss Piggy. You see how giant these things are? They're like super giant. Um, so Miss Piggy sold. She sold for $111. Plus shipping, the buyer is one hundred and thirty-one dollars and two cents all in, and I paid forty dollars for Kermit, Fozzie, and Miss Piggy. So, like thirteen dollars and change into each of these. So that's almost a hundred dollar profit on each one of them. So this was a great buy. Was a shop goodwill buy. Um, bidding only went up to like twenty seven, and then I paid shipping. So that was a great deal. Watch out for big plush. Um, any of the Muppet Baby stuff tends to do well. Pooh does very very well. So you can make a lot of money on plush and just different stuff if you guys notice i definitely like mix up what i am selling because the more variety you have the more items you have the more sales you'll get so we have 15 going out today from monday almost 500 dollars. so a great day for a monday and i do appreciate you guys watching if you came to the live last night thank you and tomorrow you will see some of going through the trailer i have done some of it i'm hoping to do a little bit more today and i can show you guys but it's going to be very tedious and probably a few videos so i appreciate you guys watching i will see you next time bye i'm 100 years old and you just take care of that little miracle it's